you just say you like watching animals have sex? Certain animals. Oh wow. Certain animals when they're really, mating, it's really interesting. Get you off? Yeah. No. No. There isn't. There. There isn't. Don't look up Rick's search there, history. There isn't. <laughs> Welcome back to our stupid ranks, it's of Corbin. I like watching horses hum. <laughs> Dot com. Uh. <laughs> oh god, don't look that up. Don't I look it up! I bet, yeah, I bet it, it exists! Oh god. I bet it exists! Oh, There's be... stuff they do in Tijuana that you don't want to know about. That is, uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, today we got a little informational video. This is about... This is a Animal sex. Yes. No, this is a, a guy going over some animals don't have sex. Indian temples that it's called ancient Indian temples are machines with moving parts. So like it oh. goes over like old school um, architecture of ancient Indian. Awesome. So like mo like certain structures have like moving, moving parts, or whatever. But yeah, they yeah. were like not like it's, before there was it's hydraulics. Aliens. Yeah. No, I don't think that's what this is. God, I got so much hate for like it saying like, it wasn't aliens. I didn't understand the hate I was getting in that video. It was probably from aliens. Because I was like, give the people, the Indians that made it, credit. Stop exactly. saying aliens. And people were like, how dare you? What? <laughs> we tell you. It's so weird. The, the interterrestrial and interdimensional beings have unions now. Oh. So you gotta be careful <laughs> about be what you careful. say. You gotta be careful. I guess. Here we They've go. unionized. Hey guys. Hey, Hi. how are you? Ancient temples in India have moving parts. Wow. Really? You may not believe me. I, oh, I do. This. I do. No, I don't. He needs to prove it to me. What? Yes, this is a column made of stone in a temple in India. That's a visual Normally, effect. Normally, you will not even think of trying to touch it or almost looks fake, the stone block. But someone accidentally discovered or rediscovered that it could be rotated. What could possibly be the reason to have something like this Fun when you're installed shrooming. in a temple? To set up something like this, there has to be a rotating mechanism and it's not easy to set this up in stone no. because you cannot open it afterwards and put Ancient new civilizations inside. That do it. So like this Egypt, to yeah, Ireland, whatever. To have a Ireland, rotating whatever. mechanism made of Blows stone, my mind what they you were need to, to have advanced knowledge in engineering. No, this is not the only temple with moving parts. Look at this one. Fun for the kitten. How do you do that though? How do you even get that in there? Here's a column which has small holes through which you can insert your finger. It was put in Inside was there is a made. ball, a stone ball, and you can move it's it up stone. and down. Of course, you cannot pull the ball out through these tiny holes, you can only move it inside the hollow column. How was the ball put inside in the first place? If you claim this is carved, how did they manage to scoop out the rock which was inside through these small holes? Aliens. There's another ancient temple in a place called Uttra Kosamangai. This is at least 1,200 hey, years get old. Get your hand out of there. There is a ball inside a lion's mouth. You can roll the ball, you can rotate it, but you cannot pull it out of the lion's mouth. That's What's cool. more bizarre? The lion I'm is made of solid granite, but the ball inside is made of a type of rock called Now bolus. I know how. They were so like, how is this ball it's easy now. inside the lion's mouth? And why are we not able to pull this ball out? More and more young people are becoming interested in Indian temples and they're sending me incredible videos to my email. Here's this snake's mouth wide open and the mouth is held open because of Lord Vishnu's conch shell is placed between its upper and lower jaw. But you can rotate this conch. It spins very well. Much better than uh, some modern rotating devices. But the real question is, why were these moving parts set up in temples. They were Some creative. say that if you they move can... these parts in a certain rhythm, hmm. in a certain order, or a certain speed, secret chambers oh, can be opened cool. which are hiding in plain sight. Call up Nick now, Cage right now. What do I mean by this? Let's that's look at this one. This is a safe box to keep money 
and boxes like these were used in India for many centuries. Oh, that's cool. There's a type of safe used by a group called Chetiyars. They have mastered oh, the Oh, that's art awesome. Of you have to do it in a certain order. Yeah. It's so complex, it's uncrackable even today, unless you know which knobs to turn in which order to open the safe. That's awesome. In fact, when a normal person looks at this for the first time, he will not even realize that this is a safe that can be opened. Wow. He will just think this is a That's decorated cool. piece made of solid metal. But now, look at this ceiling in an ancient temple in a place called Vetuan Kolo. This is made of stone, and of course it has these fabulous and complex patterns of the nine influencers called Navagraha and 12 zodiac signs and other features of astrology. But look at this area mm -hmm. in the center. It's like a little handle. This is a doorknob, which means you can open this. In the this ceiling. This is also a very ancient temple. And because of time, you can now see the gaps between the door and the rest of the chamber. And look at these protruding circular knobs. I believe that if you rotate them in a particular pattern, just like the metal safe you saw, you can open the secret chamber in the ceiling of this temple. I mean, clearly, this is this a door built which thousands of years ago, yeah. I imagine. In ancient Indian temples, Jeez, there man. are many, many mysteries hidden in plain sight. We have not even started to understand them. Now, let's look at one of the most iconic megalithic structures in the world heritage site of Hampi. This is a gigantic stone chariot standing about 15 feet tall and 10 feet wide and weighs more than 120 tons. It is so awe-inspiring, it's even printed on huh. Indian money. Hmm. Even by conservative archaeological accounts, it was built at least 500 years ago. But in spite of being very popular among tourists, this chariot remains shrouded in mystery. Google and Wikipedia give blatantly false information. For example, Google calls this a monolithic chariot. If you examine the structure, you realize it's not monolithic at all. It is no. not made of one stone. It's not one, yeah, Look it's at not how one each single wheel is made of a separate mono. stone block, and they're set Are you up telling on me the axles everything you read on the internet like is not a true. real working chariot. What? The chariot appears to be Shit. not built as a decorated or that. religious structure. Rather, it is built like a real vehicle made of several parts which are assembled Was that ever together. able to be moved? I know this is a weird question to ask, but it. is it possible that this chariot has moving parts? When I examined right. the wheels and axles, I found exactly what I was looking for. You see these marks? These are caused by friction. When something moves, two pieces rub against each other. These marks are created because of wear and tear. Ooh, that'd be scary to see this that thing move. This is clear proof that these wheels rotated. The wheels rubbed against Don't want to get the, that stuck in the mud. mud guards, <laughs> just like what you would find in That's a modern-day vehicle. But today, Thousands we're of years not ago, they were able, able to build to that with that detail. I don't even... Why? no sense to me. A quick internet search showed me that visitors kept moving the wheels and damaged them in 2011. So the authorities now put concrete at the base of the wheels mm. and made them immovable. Ah. Uh, but why were the so wheels originally designed for rotation? To move the entire 120 ton chariot? No, these wheels cannot handle such a weight. Locals say that every year on a certain date, the main idol of this temple would be placed inside this chariot. And when people rotated the wheels in a certain speed, the dark chamber inside the chariot would brighten up and illuminate the idol. Hmm. Of course, this sounds like magic, but magic is just another name for advanced technology. Are we talking? about a glowing light source here. More specifically, are we talking about an ancient dynamo mechanism? 
Today, we can spin a wheel and can light up a light bulb. We generate electricity by spinning a wheel. This is a simple electric generator we use even when pedaling a bicycle. Oh, you think so we're ancient Indian builders Interesting. using electricity the same way. Why else would Maybe. they or at least energy. Yeah. these rotatable wheels on this giant chariot? The simple answer is they knew how yeah. to convert one form of energy right. into another form. They were converting kinetic energy into electrical power. Could this but be how was why it being converted? we were able to find yeah. so many movable parts <clears throat> in ancient Indian temples? Were they meant to be moved so they could create electricity or some other type of power which was then used for constructive purposes? Maybe. But is it possible that ancient builders were not only using human energy, but also wind energy in temples? Of course, this is a crazy idea. All these moving parts I showed you are made of stone, and stones are just too heavy to be moved by wind, right? But see, ancient builders were much more advanced than us. They could make stones movable even by wind. In some Indian temples, you can see these chains hmm. moving even with the slightest breeze. But these chains are made of stone. They're not made of metal. Ancient builders have cleverly designed them to be hanging from the ceilings of temples. These chains you're looking at were created more than 700 years ago. But what is the purpose of them? As usual, experts think these are merely for decorative purposes. However, others say that once upon a time, small transparent crystals were placed at the end. Look at the holder-like design at the bottom. And if the wind reached a certain speed, these chains would oscillate faster and the crystals would light up like light bulbs. Interesting. Does this remind you of any technology we use today? No. So what do you think? Why were these moving parts installed in ancient Indian temples? They're smarter than me. Were they meaningless <laughs> creations just for decoration? Some, maybe. Or were ancient builders harnessing and converting energy? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. Nice. I well, I think I, I know what happened with the one with the wheels and the light illuminating inside. Mm. There was probably another wheel inside that was connected to the four wheels, and the faster they spun, it spun really fast. And attached to that interior wheel was a little hand, like a glove, that was going like this. And there was a guy named Eddie without any shorts on, and it would spank him, and he would light a candle. And it, it was his cue, and the harder it went, the brighter he'd make the candle. Though. Yeah, totally. I think yeah. so. It's, it's bottomless <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> I like the video. It was cool. I, was a lot of, at, I like that he, he proposed these questions and theories. Yeah, at first I was like, what? Where is this going? But it got I better, thought it was got going better to, and I better. I thought he was going to aliens for a second. I, I know. Like, I was oh, like, please God. don't go there. Please don't go to aliens. <laughs> no, we got nothing against aliens. No. Love aliens. Love you guys if you're watching. Yeah. Uh, but it does. It takes away the credit from yeah. the brilliance of the creators that made these things. There's, there's a... Oh, the guy from uh, Discovery Channel? Yeah. Oh, aliens. yeah. Aliens. Um, yeah, because I, like, the ancient Egyptians, we, I mean, there's a bunch of different theories about how they did it. Right. Um, yeah, there's a lot of theories. You still don't know for sure. Nope. Uh, and I like that. Yeah. It's like when we went and saw Penn and Teller in Vegas, he ended the show with a really beautiful ending uh, uh, performance. It was, it's not a trick, uh, where he was fire eating. And he pointed out, like, some things, or he said, there's some of you who will watch this, and you're going to say to somebody, this is how they did that, this is how they did that, this is how they did that. And you're going to walk away completely missing the fact that one of the most important things about magic is that it, it celebrates the mystery in life. Mm -hmm. And there are some things, that's one of the great things about science. Science <clears throat> accepts the fact there are things that we can't explain, and that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'd love to go to a lot of these. Um, we didn't get to, obviously... Except we went to a few kind of cool temples. I think a few cool ones, but nothing, nothing like, like this. Stuff. Like the stuff that he showed. Yeah. I would love to go to a lot of them. Me too. Yeah, but you need a lot more time in India. To, uh, 
I bet a lot of Indians haven't explored most yeah. of... Yeah, uh, oh, for sure. Most of what's in their country. For sure. I mean, most Americans haven't explored most of America, so it's it's not a, a, a thing that's particular to any one country. Yeah. Most people, I feel like a majority of people don't go outside of their own bubble, unfortunately. Uh, that's true, sadly. I don't know why. Yeah. I've always wanted to see as much as I can. There's Me like, too, as much of the world as possible. So, I know a lot of it is economic for a lot of yeah. people. They just don't have the resources to do that. I know a lot of people, like especially like in the South... That never like left really even their state, their, their town. Yeah, I don't understand. And it's not that they didn't have the resource. Yeah, they've just chosen to do that. That's kind of scary. Where do they go? Like, they go on vacation the same place, right? Every, every year. single time. Like what? Yep. That sounds so terrible. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm with you, man. <laughs> I know. I'm with Let's you. Go explore. Yep. Anyways, that was cool. Yeah, let us know more great. informational videos we should react to down below. Just.